Some people say I have a warped sense of humor. I don't know what that means. I take it as a compliment. My wife and I have been married for 20 years, and Bonnie, and I mean this seriously, still doesn't get my humor. I can still get her with things, and she doesn't understand it's a joke. We're not talking about warped humor. We're talking about warping text here. So I've got the word warped in a document in your exercise file, if you want to use it, called warped.psd. Please open that up. Now, you might not have this font. I mentioned this before, but you probably do. Impact is a pretty common font. But if you don't, it'll tell you it's going to have to substitute the font. It's not about the font. It's about the technique. So let's come over here. Here's my warped layer. It is a type layer. Pick up your type tool. You do not have to select the text. Just be there. And click this button right there. Now, in warped text, well, it's been there for years. It's in Adobe Illustrator. It's called Envelope Distort. It does exactly the same thing, except you do have more control over it in Adobe Illustrator. But if we come here, you've got these things, like for example, well, you've got arch. That's about pretty simple. It arches it. You can bend it one direction or another. You can change the horizontal or the vertical distribution. Up to you. My favorite one is fish. Let me show you that one. It kind of looks like a fish, I guess. We can bend it one way or the other to create the fishy look, change the distribution horizontally or vertically. Now understand something that's kind of interesting in communication. Let's say that word is the word fish. And let's say you're using warp text fish. So it looks like a fish, and the word is fish. Studies show, I guess CAT scans or whatever, however they do it, is that when you're reading something and concentrating on words, it fires up the left side of your brain. And when you're looking at images and graphics, it kind of fires up the right side. So what we do in communication and marketing is if I can make a word look like what it really is, like the word fish, it lights up both sides of your brain and you're more likely to remember it. We call that double impact marketing, double impact communication. Just a thought. Okay, remember, this is vector. It is still text. I can come back here anytime I want to reaccess and change it. We can even do things like this. Go down to the FX button down here, for example, and maybe add a oh, bevel and a boss. Why not? Maybe even add a drop shadow. If we click OK, it's still vector. I can take it all the way back to the way it was originally. Don't forget, if at any point, you need to apply something to it that you can't do without rasterizing. You can go to the word type on the pull-down menu, and you can go down to rasterize here. Or you can go to the word layer, and we did it this way last time, and go down to layer and tell the computer you want to rasterize the type. Now, remember, when you do that, it doesn't really change anything except the fact it's no longer type, and you can't retype it. But it gives you the ability to do just about anything you want. Warped text in Adobe Photoshop. On to the next.